January 1st, 1836, and King William IV of the United Kingdom has tasked Markus Ramspeck with modernizing the professional army. Hello everyone, I call myself Zonaskind and I'd like to play Victoria 3, and we did everything we had to do before we unpause, so let's go! So the armed forces are very happy now. Expensive government goods, eh? Well, I hope that Braunschweig are on it, or one of the other guys. You're working on a livestock ranch. You're working on a livestock ranch as well. You're working on a livestock ranch. Great. Well, we're going to be swimming in meat. And you're working on a logging camp. Although apparently it's not producing, actually. Weird. Um, right, and interest is now activated, so we can talk to the Netherlands more easily. Uh, that's good. That wood is expensive. Okay. Uh, diplomatic ties with the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> in the in the Twitch playthrough, Ottoman Empire actually tried to conquer Holland, <laughs> which was kind of insane. Oh, Dutch friends rivalry. Cool. 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 And it's uh, it's apparently mutual. We have a construction sector. Tools are now expensive, so we will start to work on that. And hopefully manage to do that before um, we get kicked out of the customs union. Although, with it taking a year, probably not. Probably William IV dies before that. Um, but anyway, the construction sector is now slowly hiring, so it will speed up. Mortality of laborers. Well, that's not nice. Also, I'd like there to be music, actually. <laughs> Great Britain have started to bankroll us. Oh, cool. I suppose. <laughs> we're, we're actually making uh, too much money right now. Although now it's going down because we're uh, paying more workers in the construction sector. Hey! Uh, and we're in a war against the Great... Or at least in a diplomatic play. Against the Great Qing. Okay, so the Opium Wars are kicking off. And Great Britain has declared Austria to be their rival. Amazing. Well, we're actually not going to participate in this uh, in this war against the Tsing. I do not feel like it. What are they? They want Fujian. Where is that? Fujian. Oh, there. So, we're not familiar enough with... This isn't, this isn't Hong Kong, right? I don't think. I think Hong Kong is here, if I remember correctly. I, I, I'm not too familiar with Chinese geography, so please let me know in the comments. Um, meanwhile, stuff is expensive. Ammunition is now expensive. Uh, good on you, Great Britain. Good on you. Anyway, the first tick on Professional Army is going to come in right about now. Let's see if it's positive or negative. King intervenes in political process. King has taken a personal interest in the ongoing debate concerning professional army and has resolved has resolved to use his royal prerogative to ensure the law passes. His will will be done. Too bad that now the intelligentsia are angry at us. Uh, we do need to stay a minor power because an insignificant power uh, immediately loses all the custom union. A benefit so we need to make sure we don't fall to insignificant status and we're at war with the Tsing cool let's see uh, see if Great Britain actually does anything there there's now a silk input good shortage but I don't believe we use silk so that's kind of okay for now our army would actually not do too badly against the Tsing but where I uh, don't see any fighting yet. <laughs> I'll try and keep you informed. Meanwhile, we're working on that uh, iron input good shortage. That's not good. That's not good at all. So, I guess we actually need to work on an iron mine. ASAP. Because that is bad. Because we will also not produce uh, tools the way we want to. Hey, uh, Great Britain, you're actually going to do something about this, or uh, are we just going to sit sit in our boats? Because, uh, you know, I'm cool with that, but uh, it's kind of lame. 
the industrialists are now influential and they are also uh, giving us engines of progress. Hmm. Should I maybe already go to a production tech? Nah, I'm kind of happy still with uh, going for field works. It's it. I feel it's it's the the kind of insurance policy. Ah, oh, we're no longer being bankrolled, so now we're losing money out the wazoo. That is too bad. Uh, total separation. The intelligentsia want to achieve. Meanwhile, the Netherlands are trying to start a. Uh, puppet diplomatic play siak that's over here we can now conduct diplomacy with switzerland because they're interested in the rhine region very cool um but i actually can't because i don't have the i don't have the diplomacy mana for that that's fine stuff is expensive this war is not doing us any favors. Okay, the AI, I feel, have improved a bit. But uh, this is still incredibly dumb. Like, invade them then. <laughs> Don't just sit there. Actually do something. Opposition members put forth demands. Um, I like acquiescing to their demands, basically. I don't need the armed forces to be incredibly happy. I don't need them to be at plus 19. So let's get that success chance up. And now... There's still a stall of 14, 40%. So that's not great, but... Um, at least there's also a success chance of almost 50-50. So we still have that iron, put, uh, iron input good shortage. So we really need to work on this mine... What are the other states in our customs union doing? Lion camp, that's good. Food industries, that's pretty okay. You just finished a rye farm. What are you working on now? Another livestock ranch. Good on you, I guess. And a coal mine. Oh yeah, brown trike. Get in there. That You're great. You're amazing. We can get started on coal um, and stuff that consumes coal right away. Uh, once we get there That is great. That makes atmospheric engine a lot uh, Tastier and the invasion of the Qing has started up here in the north uh, Near yeah near Beijing. I think this is Beijing it, it's, it's it's sad that you can't actually see the city names when you're in a war now here's a big big battle with uh, I starting with 91,000 men in the field that is uh, rough and there are a lot of garrisons coming in so a big big war maybe we can make this the the focus of the episode kind of see how the opium war shakes out uh, anything important happening over here any diplomatic plays I don't think so ah there's the music kind of took a while there we go. Big a chunk of land taken by the Brits again. Moving on Beijing. But now the Chinese are attacking into the Brits. But that is not going well. Despite their careful maneuver against a blunder by General Yu Goff. Right, that's his name. Goff, not Gao. Um, so the Brits look to be holding out. Yeah, with only nine offense. That is rough. And a 62 defense. These guys are getting slaughtered. Already 30,000 dead. And we still have that input good shortage. But we don't use silk still. So we can also slot in one more decree. Or maybe a consumption tax on luxury furniture. Because we need money. Bureaucratic embroil. That is a really rough one. Uh... So we can either take a penalty to bureaucracy and an equine time or an equine time and an equine success. I think I'd rather take this one. I'm not using all of my bureaucracy right now. Uh, another attack by the Chinese. Surprise maneuver against a broken supply line. But still, again, they are losing a lot of men against the defending Brits. And so they are losing war support rather fast. 
So I think we will see a British victory by the end of this episode. Yes, that is uh, that was a victory for Great Britain. Although they still can't advance, there are just too many, too many Chinese soldiers to to advance further. But they are losing their war support quickly, and uh, Britain is holding out here. What is the peace deal right now? Fujian Treaty Port and uh, war reparations. So uh, it looks like they will have to do that. So it, it's probably this city they're going to take. Uh, yeah, I still don't know what it, that city is called, but we will probably see after the war is over. I don't think it's Shanghai. I think Shanghai is more up in the north, somewhere here. Uh, I think here. Hope I don't embarrass myself with that uh, with that gas. Both the armies are exhausted. That does make sense because you're piling in men, and it's not doing much for you. It's really not doing much for you at all. Look at these. Uh, they're just evaporating these uh, these garrisons. So gold being discovered, I believe, in Australia and New Zealand. Good on you guys. New South Wales, eh? Ah, oh, you're already confederating. Good on you. Oh, and there's also a naval vessel? Didn't see it, but it was happening. Uh, also a native uprising in Western Sahara. That is quick, Great Britain. Great Britain off to a great start, honestly. Uh, also, I should put in some production into a building, like any building. I think we will start on a logging camp here. Because I don't think I have any more... Yeah, I could uh, go for an arms industry as well if I don't have a shortage of wood. Um, yeah, we do have... It is expensive, but I believe we relatively produce quite a lot uh, in our neighborhood. So maybe a steel mill makes more sense. Or a coal mine, or an arms industry. I think an arms industry makes sense. Because we're already dipping a little bit into debt. And with this we could just make our own guns a little little cheaper on ourselves. Um, yeah, this looks to be another British victory. Last man are fading away. 35,000 dead on the Chinese side. Not doing great. They're now into negative war support at minus 100. They will immediately lose the war. Oof. That is lopsided. And they're in the mod as well. And we are independent. Which doesn't mean we leave the, the uh, war yet. Okay. But we're independent. Uh, December 3, 1837. The king is dead. With the ascension of his young niece, Victoria, the crown of Hannover, passes outside of British control. Her uncle Ernst August now rules Hannover. I would shed the last drop of blood for my niece. God save the king. God save the king. Um, we were only 13 minutes in, so we will go on. But we are now independent with our own little customs union with Braunschweig, Oldenburg, Bremen and Hamburg. So let's try to keep those guys in there. We do now suffer a... Um, diplomacy deficit, so I think I will stop improving with you. And see who it is we have the worst relations with over here. Genial Amicable. Genial Amicable. And Cautious Amicable. Then I'd like to improve with you, but I can't. Because we're already at our max. Shoot. Um... And nothing over here. Could we maybe do something over here? For, like form a defensive pact? Would anyone just accept outright? Form an alliance with Oldenburg. That do does sound good to me. Let's do that. And could we maybe... Improve? Oh! We can get Shamburg Lip into our customs union. Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Could we maybe do that with someone else as well? Declare rivalry. No thanks. And Hesse Kassel, how do you feel about us? Let's start improving relations with you. 
Mecklenburg, how do you feel about us? Not really interested. You're a puppet, so... Nice, we can get um, Shamoth Lippin, and I think... I think that would mean that they become a part of our... Yeah. Uh, the Rhine becomes an inherent interest for us, and we can declare a new interest. That's nice. Uh, we do now have a couple of input goods shortages. We can fix two of those with the arms industries we're working on. The clippers we will have to work on via a... What am I going to say? A shipyard. That's right. So let's already slot that in a shipyard over here in Hannover. And I will have to get rid of the greener grass decree. But that's fine because now we're just one little customs union anyway. So can I now just leave, uh, immediately leave the war, there is no war goal targeting us, so I think this is fine. We're just out of the war, nice. Um, and we're still working on professional army, new tick coming in in uh, a couple of weeks. And Oldenburg has accepted our alliance. Shamoth Lippe is in our customs union. So we can support more interests. So where shall we declare our interest? Maybe in the in Scandinavia so we can trade with, uh, with Norway and Sweden. Uh, I think that kind of works. Because Great Britain is interested here anyway. So we can do that be interested in Scandinavia, then we can trade with Russia and Sweden, and, ooh, well, we can't lose our interest with Denmark because they're interested in North Germany, but let's go. Oh, uh, we are at a deficit in terms of diplomacy, so I will have to fix that. Crooked connections. Um, so I can lose a little bit of favor from the industrialists, that's fine, to get those ticks in faster. That is fine. Yeah, so input good shortages, I know. I know, I am aware. Uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to look at diplomatic actions. Uh, where I can just fix this by getting a rivalry against... Uh, yeah, you know what? A rivalry against Württemberg. Screw them! Screw Württemberg. And we can improve with one more guy. I think I shall improve with Lippe. But now we basically have 30 production, or uh, 35 production to our name, because Schaumburg Lippe is also working on something. Right? On logging camps? Oh yeah. They have iron mines as well. Great. Nice. So how is our market doing, eh? Um, couple of stuff is really expensive. Glass is really expensive. Coffee is really expensive. We, we just don't have all the goods we would want to have. That is fine for now, although we do run a fairly large deficit. But I don't really want to meddle with that. I don't really want to take in any uh, like higher taxes and stuff. Oh, I want... To, oh, no! I want out of this! Can, can't I? They are already back. I I don't. I don't. I don't want to back this. Declare neutrality. I don't want. <gasps> Why would I want to be a part of that war? So meanwhile, our our private industry is working on this uh, food industry. Um, let's try to get one more tick in here for the professional army and then we'll call it an episode uh, an episode of becoming independent with our own little market how about it and so far it's it's hanging together better than in the uh, better than in the twitch attempt where two states left really early little concern about the the uh, death situation but we might just have to claw our way out of that this is going fairly quickly. Oh, no. Actually, is it cheaper for um, for these guys to build it? Do we have any sugar? We do. Out of where? Rye farms? 
in Hannover Elbe um, Hamburg. Nice. Let's go. So you would produce less sugar, more liquor. Or uh, you would use more sugar, get more liquor, less. Um, yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. So in 26 weeks we will have that. We're uh, a little more over a month away from our next tick for professional army. And uh, Ernst August, a landowner royalist. So it's going to be rough to uh, try and get him to um, try and get him to become more liberal. But we will try. We will try. Currently uh, hanging in the low minor power tier. Hopefully we will manage. And anything else interesting over here? Yeah. So this is Quan Chou that got conquered. This is Hong Kong, right? Failing to gain traction. Ah, uh, that is too bad. Well, we will call it that. So June 3rd, 1838. And uh, the new king, Ernst August, looks a lot less favorably upon professional army. That's how I'll explain that, uh, that negative tick. Anyway, uh, YouTube, if you like that we are now an independent little customs union, then do please leave a like. If you think that we should have just stayed British, then uh, leave your comments and subscribe and ding the bell so you know when the next episode goes live. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.